After the Confederate defeat at Fort Donaldson in February of 1862, Nashville surrendered to Union forces. Tennessee military governor Andrew Johnson insisted on the fortification of Nashville, a key transportation and supply hub. On August 6th, Union Captain James St. Clair Morton began implementing an elaborate design that made the capital the most heavily defended United States city outside of Washington, D.C. More than 2,700 African-American laborers constructed Fort Negley, the largest and most complex of Nashville's five major forts. Soldiers occupied the fort in October while the laborers occupied the slope. The formidable stronghold protected Nashville's southern approaches and deterred Confederate attacks. On November 5th, the fort's guns helped drive off Confederate forces under Generals Nathan Bedford Forrest and John Hunt Morgan. The Nashville Banner announced the fort's completion on November 16th. In the spring of 1863, Mary Overall, a young Confederate spy, capitalized on amiable relations between civilians and the military while attending a dance party here to gather information. Union General Zebulon B. Tower proposed $20,000 in improvements in October of 1864. On December 15th and 16th, Two newly installed Parrot guns provided artillery support during the Battle of Nashville, firing at targets more than three miles away. The 12th Indiana Light Artillery, along with soldiers from Illinois, Ohio, and Tennessee, as well as the United States Colored Troops, occupied Fort Negley. It remained a federal post until 1867.